Hello and welcome to Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks, episode 176. I am Neil. I am Annalise. How are you? I'm good. How do we sound? I think we sound fine. Good. I don't know. I worry about it no matter what. That's true. However, uh, I, do, I, I have noticed that mm-hmm. since, when you pointed this out also, since we've gotten the new computer, yes. things are getting picked up quite a bit more. Yes. I Tony, was at, that's Tony, actually on my notes to talk about that since we've upgraded the computer system and stuff, our mics are picking up way more noise, background noise and dog stuff than we've ever picked up before. Yeah. Tony from Salty Language even noticed that when he heard our dogs chewing in the background, he thought it was his dogs. Right. And that stuff didn't get picked up quite as much. So we're working with it. We're figuring it out. Right. So if there is some extra background noise, we do apologize. Right. Uh, the mics are way we'll more sensitive there. than we're yeah. used to. Apparently that last, so. <laughs> that computer we had before sucked balls because <laughs> everything's amazing now. Every, yeah. And then we haven't changed the mics or anything like that. Everything is awesome. What? Everything is awesome. Um, so it's just literally a new computer. Everything else is the same. So. Um, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> so pretty cool. So anyway, we're uh, thank you. welcome to our podcast. We are Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks. We are a married and... couple who <laughs> does a weekly podcast where we just kind of talk about us and life and stuff that happens. And we very much appreciate everyone who listens and uh, subscribes and rates and reviews. It means awesome. a lot to us. It's very cool. And if you, I was going to say something and I lost my train of thought. You okay? <laughs> yeah. Gonna... It's been a full oh, day. I know what I was going to say. Yeah. We also want to say thank you to all the people who used our app and mm-hmm. downloaded the app, uh, but we have no more app. And simply because... I referred to the app today, in fact. Right. Uh, and we talked about it a little bit last week, but now it's officially gone. Mm-hmm. Um, mainly because most people get their podcasts all in one place and don't want a separate app. And we weren't really, we Even wanted me. to do a bunch of bonus <laughs> stuff and we, we didn't really use it as much as we wanted to, right? We wanted to. So, um, the app is gone, but thank you to everybody. It was kind of funny. I was looking at, at the different downloads and mm-hmm. it was hilarious because we had like hundreds of downloads of the app. And then like within the last four months, we had hundreds of deletions of the app. Like people, I think, you know, had right. it and they're like, oh, this is cool. I think a lot of people downloaded it for a few of the bonus things and then we're right. like done yeah. with it. So Speaking of which we could put. The bonus stuff on our website, maybe? Well, I'm going to put... No, I'm just going to release it. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to release it like midweek. Yeah. Or I was thinking since we're coming up with the busy time, Mm -hmm. we'll just release like, especially the the voicemail episode. that one's hilarious. Um, (laughs) And a couple of the other ones people have heard, you know, like the songs kind of was written for us Mm -hmm. and all that. So that's that's what's going on with that. But thank you to everybody who did download. It was so much fun to have an app. It was one of those things that made us feel like we were way more important than we were just to have our own app. But we realized it's, uh, and it wasn't even really a money thing. It's just that it's, right, yeah. you I know, mean, if people, if people are, were using it more, then we would keep it. Mm-hmm. But it, there's just not enough people. Like, I think there's only a few people, including me, that use it. And again, I only use, besides my own app, because it's mine, I only use one other app. So I totally get it. It for totally a, makes For sense. a while, it was used a ton. Yeah. And then I think as people are like, well, I can just, I'm getting them here. Or I can on just Stitcher get you on or iTunes wherever. or so. Stitcher or whatever. So yeah, totally makes sense. So totally very much it. appreciate yeah. it. was a lot of fun. Thanks for everybody for playing along and, and downloading it and stuff. It was, <laughs> it was fun. It was very cool. <laughs> very cool. Yeah. Our silly little yeah. podcast dreams came true. <laughs> so, um, Sorry, I have to burp. Oh, boy, that's great. It'll get picked up now for sure. Sorry about that. Excuse me. Now I really have to get you that cough blocks box <laughs> cough <block>. button <laughs> thing. That's too funny. That's so funny that we both had that on our list to talk about. Check uh, one. Which part? Which one? The About the mics being more sensitive. Oh. Or, well, it's not the mics. It's the program itself and the computer itself is like... Well, it's just doing it's what it's supposed to. It's a full upgrade. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just not tired. Right. It's just, it's just not old and tired like yeah. we are. Yeah. We have... Way too many computers now. Yeah, that is the truth. Oh, which reminds me, if anybody has a hookup on a Canon 70D camera, let me know. I'll get into why <laughs> later. But if anyone <laughs> does, please, by all sure. means, yeah, you can uh, DM email me us. or email at uh, <laughs> darkangelsandprettyfreaks.com or you just go to the website, darkangelsandpretty, no, darkangelsandprettyfreaks at gmail.com yes. or just go to the website and mm-hmm. go to dapfpod.com and find us through there. But if you do, that would be awesome. If you don't, that's fine, too. All right. Our dog, Nine, just came in. What is she doing? Oh, I have to get her a collar. Hold on. Does Jing- she just go and bury, like, all the bones? Yeah. Jingle pup. And now nobody has any treats? Naked dog. Well, Zero doesn't <laughs> get one anyway. Yeah. Good girl. Oh, puppy. 
Good girl. Nines get to we go have, to the vet tomorrow. We have good puppies. We do. Most people do, though. That's true. Yeah. Um, so she's getting some shots. Getting no nope. pup, pup date. No shots. No shots. She's just getting that stuff in her mouth, the Bordetella, so she, we can Oh, it used her. to be a shot. Is it just in her mouth now? I don't I don't know how long ago it's been a shot. Oh. Well, you always take him to the vet, so yeah. maybe it, it's been a long time since I've taken him to the vet. Been so. a long time since you rocked and rolled? It has been a long time. <laughs> I would like to talk about your beverage glass. Okay, go ahead. I love it. It's super old school. Do you even know what year that's from? Uh, Roger said the 70s, I believe. 70s, yeah. It so, could be earlier than that. <laughs> um, Neil has... To, how do you want to describe Roger? Tiger. Roger is a friend of mine that also happens to be my boss. Right. Kind of like I am friends with my boss. Right. We are. Kind of like very, I wish I was better lucky. friends with your boss. Oh. I talk about that all the time. I know. Uh, Speaking of which, my boss is going to be on vacation. Cool. It's not going to be the same without him around. No. We'll talk about that later. Um, But uh, your friend gave us a set of vintage 1970s-esque cocktail glasses. Take a picture of it. I will. Oh, that's the next line. I will. After this, remind me. Um, And they're really cool. They're like purple. Forget with my brains. But they're that that thick, really thick glass that like all seventies cups were made out of. If you know what I mean. <laughs> like this is the glass that if you got in a domestic uh, fight with your partner and threw it at their head, it would just bounce off their head. It wouldn't break. Right. Yeah. And um, I remember. Not that you should no, get in no, that, but I'm just saying. That, but like it has a really thick bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Such a weird thing for me to bring up. I'm like, yeah, if you happen to get in a an abusive relationship and Why? want to throw a glass at someone's head, this one would bounce <laughs> off, which I took it as a plus. I'm like, right. yeah, well, if you, you just put that it. over your fist and yeah. use both at the same time, I could fit my hand in there. Let me Probably see. Probably could. No, <laughs> not now. <laughs> anyway, it's a really cool cup and thank you, Roger. Tiger. I like it. I call him Tiger. I don't know if anybody else calls him that. We all call him Tiger. <laughs> we all, as in you and me? Because he's Tiger. He calls himself Tiger now too. <laughs> no, that's awesome. <laughs> If you type in Roger to your iPhone, it autocorrects to Tiger. It does. Fun fact. Did you know that? That's how I got Tiger in the first place. Oh. That's how we started calling him Tiger, is that I kept calling him Roger, and it kept autocorrecting to Tiger, and you're like, what are you talking about? No, no, (laughs) no. No, what I I meant was, since he's in my phone as Tiger, if you type in Roger, Tiger comes up. Yeah. That's what I thought you meant. Oh, no. But uh, that's how it all got started. That's hilarious. All right. Tiger. All right. All right. right. (laughs) Anyway. I dig your I dig your cup, man. <laughs> Very cool. So uh, it's well, a little bit small for me. I had to go for the pint size myself. But, pint size, you know. yeah. Which someone I've been called that before. Pint size. <laughs> You've called yourself that before. And also one of my favorite um, old school bars in San Rafael here, close by. The pint size the lounge. Pint, the pint size. Been there. That That's is hilarious. Where, That's where we all hung out when we were. That is because before is it was no pint size. Way we have not seen each other before we met. Before there's no way. Oh no, you'd know if you saw me. Um, <laughs> before, before pint size, it you was know like what I a. Did see. What I'll tell you. Okay. Um, what's the singer of um, Metallica's name? James Hetfield. I was in there one day on a uh, a birthday extravaganza, and uh, I, it's this guy named Shannon. Well, that's all we'll say who I work with. It was his birthday. And we were in there, the pint size after like drinks beforehand. Happy birthday, at, at, Shannon. At the Mayflower that was down the street. Went We walked down the street, went to the pint size. And in there we saw James Hatfield air guitar to his own Metallica song on the jukebox. That's, I would too. <laughs> um, uh, my mom and I ran into James Hatfield a long, long time ago mm-hmm. in Sizzler. In Santa Fe. The Sizzler. Mm-hmm. Nice. The Sizzler. <laughs> Did I say the Sizzler? No, I didn't. No, okay. But that's what that's what it's called. No, it's just called Sizzler. The Sizzler. No, it's just called Sizzler. The Sizzler. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What else anyway. do you got? Um, I don't know why I, I'm rushing you. I don't know why I'm either. Hungry, that's why. <laughs> Is that what? Yeah. <laughs> um, we are back to pizza tonight. So woohoo! I got okay. pizza. Yes. I'm excited about it because it's been a while. You wanted olives and pepperoni, right? Oh. Isn't I'm that what you joking. got? Okay. No, I, I got vegetarian. <laughs> oh, did you? Yeah. Nice. Can I have some of yours? No. Oh. Okay, maybe. Well, mine's vegetarian too, technically. No. Oh, did you get me sausage? That's what your regular is. You said oh. you wanted your regular. Well, we go back and forth, back and forth between you, mushroom and sausage and mushroom, just mushroom. You've so. gotten just mushrooms maybe three times. Well, I like the sausage on yeah, there. Right. 
<laughs> well, thank you. You're welcome. Double thank you. The mm-hmm. sausage thanks you too. Um, anyway, so we're back to the pizza sausage. Tonight. Will thank you later too. What? Nice. <laughs> um, <laughs> so we go back forth between burrito night and pizza night, and we're back on pizza night. And then we haven't been doing anything special. We've just been cooking at home. So. Oh no, we've been eating like crap. We've been doing a ton special. We had Taco Bell, we had Chinese, we've had back-to-back burrito nights, we got chicken wings. We've only had Taco Bell I one made, time. I would like chicken wings every night. We got chicken wings. Every single night. I made chicken wings. <laughs> we had bacon cheeseburgers that I made. That's true. We went out to dinner and, and had... With your parents, uh, though. Yeah. Well, that was special. It's still the same amount of calories, well, in I fact, guess. whether they're here or not. <laughs> you don't think so? No. <laughs> They don't suck the fat out of the burgers. <laughs> Normally, Dad eats all the bacon, but he hardly ate anything, and he was in a hurry to go this time. I don't think he was feeling well, because he didn't drink either. That's true. And I made a good martini for him. <laughs> um, I have a interesting slash funny story about mm-hmm. my week. Bring it. Are you ready for it? I've already kind of told you, but oh. so this is for the podcast. <laughs> a, a reenactment, if right. you will. So um, two days ago, I guess Wednesday? I don't know. Doesn't matter. Really. Two days going to be. I the day get to, as some of you who listen to the podcast know, I get to work super early because I go to the gym first. We get up super early, get up at four. I'm usually to work sometime between six and six thirty. I do a little bit of a workout, usually to my desk by seven thirty, give or take. So a couple days ago, I walk into my basement shop office and it is freaking raining water <laughs> in the basement <laughs> which is i don't care where the basement is that is not a good thing that is just not a good th- water in the basement of any basement is not good not good so water streaming loudly like rain from the ceiling super bad <laughs> and i had that like moment where um you stop and you freeze and you totally have this moment of like i don't know what to do like this is bad I'm not actually sure what to do right now. Mm -hmm. And so I stop and I think about it. And then I'm like, oh, I'm going to film it. (laughs) So I grab my phone just really quick. And I only film like 10 seconds of it just so I could like send it to my boss and stuff like that. But then, you know, set my stuff down nowhere near the water. And I started walking around and started moving stuff around to see how bad it was. And then I started calling people and texting people and whatever. But um, And it was uh, all... In about a matter of, I would say within a half an hour, there was like four maintenance guys and crew guys there, like all like, I don't know what's happening. And they figured it out really fast because as soon as I saw that, I actually ran upstairs because normally this has happened in the past that the kitchen, um, the industrial kitchen for my job is actually right above us. And so it's happened before, you know, just like some drainage issues and things like that. Drainage. <laughs> there was one time a long time ago I came in and um, the ceiling was raining pink fluid and the ground was all pink. And apparently that time someone had spilled a five gallon bucket of industrial dishwashing fluid that goes in the, you know, like industrial kitchen dishwashers or whatever. Mm-hmm. And it goes like into a bucket or whatever. But like had literally someone didn't realize they had knocked over the five gallon bucket and it was just ever so slowly draining into the basement. <laughs> And it was really, really weird because, like, when you see, you know, pink fluid dripping from a basement ceiling, you're like, exorcist what, time. Oh, I was thinking that, right? Was it... Um, like Ghostbusters time, you know? What was the what was the, the monster that was in the pink tutu? Didn't he use pink? pink? tutu. Oh, oh the crap, name of that I don't movie? know. I can't think Toxic of it. Toxic Avenger. Oh. <laughs> Maybe. Didn't he ooze pink goo? Did he ooze pink? I don't, I don't know. know. I don't think I ever saw that. I mean, I'm familiar with who that is, but I didn't really see that movie. Yeah. Oh, you didn't see the movie? Uh Uh-uh. Really? I haven't. I've never seen that one. That's fun. I've seen some of the cartoon, (laughs) which is funny. But um, anyway, so um, all that's been taken care of and fixed, and it was actually an air handler coolant system that had broken and whatever, and a coupler, if you will. Mm -hmm. But um, it, you know. I would. I'd coupler. (laughs) I mean, that's why I brought her. What? Yeah. (laughs) Thank you. That's the wow, quality that's... entertainment you get Woo! on this podcast. That's, that's good Anyone times. out there still listening? Hello? Crickets? Hello? I'll be here all week. <laughs> but yeah, so it rained for another hour and a half or something like that. Because I had to let the water kind of drain out and got trash buckets and things like that. Buckets and trash cans. And anyway. But what the really cool thing is they cleaned that thing up pretty tidy and shampooed the carpets. And the whole thing is like maybe cleaner than it was before. Very so nice. There you go. It's all fixed. It just... Very unsettling to walk into your basement office at your work and have it raining from the ceiling. It's just 
It's weird. Well, I'm glad <laughs> I'm glad it's all taken care of now. It's all taken care of. Um, did I ever tell you about the time I was on a pirate radio station being interviewed for a show I was playing? No. So this was, Definitely it's a not. little bit local, but it's a little north of San Francisco. It's a little town called Sausalito. And this guy had a radio station that he, he would broadcast from his boat. And it was total pirate radio. Like he was stealing the airwaves. He wasn't paying the FCC anything. And, and so he contacted us. We were doing a, an AIDS benefit show. It was our band. When... Yes. I was going to say Melanie X. Yeah. Okay. It was our band and uh, another another couple bands that were getting all together and doing this AIDS benefit show. And uh, so he had con- he saw or heard about it and said, hey, we'd like to interview you, you know, on the radio. And we're like, yeah, totally. You know, we'll do this pirate radio. And we're like, oh, awesome. You know, it's got to be pretty freaking big if he's got a radio station. So he went on his boat, and it was a nice sailboat. And we go down there, and he's got all this freaking crazy equipment and freaking amps and power ants and all this stuff. And we're like, yeah, this is awesome. And <laughs> we get on there, and he starts interviewing us and asking us, you know, why we're doing this and blah, where is he playing? And he's like, well, let's take take some callers, you know. And I was like, no way. And there we was, have callers? <laughs> yeah. There was nobody calling in. And then he's like, Karen, Patricia, you out there? Go ahead and call in if you'd like. And when all of a sudden we realized, like, Oh, no one listens to this. This is like his, fr- kind of like a podcast. It's like, <laughs> oh, this is his Yes, yeah, it's three friend. listeners. <laughs> yeah. And we're like, son of a, <laughs> it was funny because we were all like, oh, but that for a while downer. we thought it was really cool. <laughs> I've never heard that story. That's I have another question for you. Oh, okay. Did you ever play freeze tag? Yes. Did you ever play TV tag? No. You never played TV no. tag? When you were telling me about your uh, leaking system? Gross. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you said something that made me think of, I don't know if you said something about tagging or freezing, but um, yeah. So TV tag, you know, so freeze tag was you'd run around, whoever was it would tag somebody and they'd be frozen unless somebody who wasn't it came and unfroze them. Correct. So yeah. if I was it and right. I tagged, okay. And and the way they'd not be it anymore is that they'd freeze everybody. Mm-hmm. And then the last person frozen would now become it. Do I have that correctly? I believe so. So TV tag <laughs> was that a bunch of people would play, and when you went to go tag them, they'd have to say the name of a TV show before you tag them, and then they were safe. But they couldn't say a name of a TV show that was already said in that game. Obviously, you played in an area where you could hear each other. You right. Wouldn't. I've never played that. Oh, my God. It was hilarious because <laughs> when there's – even though it's not that much stress – like it was hilarious how many people would say like like I'd run after you and you'd say chips, so I didn't tell you. And then I'd go to your like I'd run after Ninja, and Ninja would say chips even though she was standing two feet from me. It's like what? Because people would just get right. kind of so freaked right. out they just start. So it was sp- yeah, hilarious. But it, what I remember from playing that since it's been years, but it would all be like chips, Three's Company, General Hospital. <laughs> oh, I loved Three's Company. Emergency Five. Did I tell you that? Um, oh, I'm not going to tell you now because I can't remember the name. But um, did you want to come and knock on my door? Because we've been waiting for you. <laughs> Where the kisses are hers and hers and his and his. <laughs> Three's, Three's company, company two. <laughs> I love that show. I always wish the next. I really loved word, Alice. I really oh, I loved kiss Alice. my grits. Yeah. I really wish the next word after two would have been one. Like the next line would have started with, because then it would have been three, two, one. <laughs> Contact. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Kiss was on that show. That's from Sesame go. Street. Do, 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 do. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. Damn it. Fine. But three. Uh, Kiss was on three, two, one. Contact. Mm-hmm. Oh, did, well, I used to watch it for the live action Spider Man sequence. Two, one. Oh, I, I told you how I hated the Spider Man uh, cartoon as a kid. Oh, I'm not sure you told me that. Spin web. Any size catches crooks just like flies. Look out. Here, Here comes, comes the Spider-Man. Oh, God. It was so creepy to me. Really? Like when he'd spin that web and a guy would get, I was afraid of spiders. Still am. <laughs> I hated Spider-Man until, until. I don't know. Tobey Maguire. Really? Oh, yeah. That's interesting. The movie with him? Hmm. He was a great How, Spider-Man. Did you see Arachnophobia? How, n- no. What? Why would I watch Arachnophobia? We can never go to Australia. 
That's not true. They have the biggest spiders there. <laughs> like human size. <laughs> like small children size spiders. All right. Small dog size. We don't need to talk about that. Oh, this. sorry. I apologize. <laughs> uh, I was going to tell you something. How about we're talking about it? I was going to tell you. I'm sorry. Man, I interrupted I with totally... my TV tag. Well, shit. Shit. Oh, well. There goes that. Uh, would you like to hear about my afternoon before I we go I would love on? to. Hey. So... You and you go outside. If people have been uh, listening for a while, they they know that I guess it's been about three years. Right after we, yeah, we were recording in the other room. That's how long it's been. Hmm. That um, unbeknownst to me, <laughs> I have, have, I was going to say I had, but I have. Used to have. I have a <laughs> half sister. Mm-hmm. And about three years ago, uh, she found me on Facebook and said, hey, and I knew I had a half brother of who I've never met these people. And I knew I had a half brother uh, that he is now 23 and then a half sister is younger. But my half sister name's Lily. She found me on Facebook and we got together and met for coffee about three years ago. She was about to graduate high school and she invited me to her graduation of which I went to, but mm-hmm. I didn't see her there which we weren't exactly sure what happened with that, but I didn't see her. Um, And so three years have passed. Mm -hmm. And earlier Mm -hmm. this week, or no, late last week, I think it was last Friday, she texted me and because I gave her my number and I said, you know, feel free to text anytime. Beautiful person, really nice person. Um, Just, it's funny because we have a lot of similar similar traits and a lot of similarities Mm -hmm. in the things we we like and how we talk. It's it's kind of funny. Um, and so she texted me and said, hey, I'm, you know, I'm in town because she's in college now. I'm in town. Uh, I was wondering if, if you wouldn't mind getting together for coffee. And I was like, yeah, I'm going into a really busy time. So I might be able to do this week. Otherwise, it would have to be you know, in a month. Yeah. And She said, oh, no, I can make this week work. You know, tell me when. And I'm like, well, how about Friday? So anyway, so we got together today. And as I was going to meet her, she texts and says, hey, would you mind if I bring my brother? He would really like to meet you, which is my half brother. His name is Austin. And um, he has autism. Mm -hmm. Um, I I believe I have that right. And I've never met him Mm -hmm. before. And I was like, so I just did the thumbs up because I was driving. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, you know, whatever. So anyway, so uh, we met at our, our local star. But last Friday, I told them, uh, yeah, or I told her, I told Lily. I said, I can meet, but my schedule is really weird. If you can, you know, come out to Napa, that would be awesome. Really funny because I made a big deal about it. They live in Sonoma. And for people that don't know, Sonoma and Napa is about 10 miles apart. So yeah, it's, so it's not, like 20 minutes. <laughs> it's not a big deal. <laughs> right. But, you know, I'm just... Right. You're super nice. And so you're trying to be a comedy. Yeah. yeah. And she's like, yeah, of course, you know, meet there. So I met them. Uh, well, I met them there today and met Austin for the first time, mm-hmm. which was very cool. Great guy. I mean, great kid. He's he is. I can see so many similarities. Mm-hmm. And it's funny because we all very much look like different parts of my biological father of mm-hmm. whom I don't I'm not really in contact with nor have been for a long time. Right? Many, many years. <clears throat> um, but it it was, you know, it was great to meet them. And then Lily says, I just wanted to let you know that my, our dad is in the hospital. And I was like, oh, I'm really sorry. You know what happened? And so apparently he had a, a ruptured, a perforated colon He's 73 years old and had to be rushed to the hospital. And he's been in the hospital for, in the hospital. And now he's in some like care unit facility, Mm kind of like not hospice because he's not dying, but. um, Just nursing care because he needs more. Yeah, rehabilitation. Right. In between hospital and home. Yeah. Right. And so he's, he's, you know, he's going to recover. He he has some, some issues, but, um, and she was like, yeah, I didn't know if I, I should tell you or if you'd even want to know and blah, 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 blah. Not that she said blah, 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 blah. That would be weird. Um, (laughs) But so we talked about that and we were talking about, you know, different memories that we've had. Because obviously, um, so I'm I'm in my mid to late 40s. She's 
20 or 21. Mm-hmm. He's 23. So there, it's a total separate life. Like, right. like when, when he was around in my life, I was very, very young. And then when he was around in their lives. And so it was really interesting, this experience, like we were talking about stuff. And I don't know if I've ever told you, but my, I think I did. My biological dad went to Jamaica when I was like I, nine yes, or 10 so, and he yeah. brought me back a shirt. Right, right. The Jamaica, Jamaica shirt, right. Yeah. And so it's just interesting things. And, and they're like, oh, he's never traveled since we've known him. And so it's just this weird, weird, interesting thing. But it was, right. it was very intense, for, one, to meet my half-brother. Uh, and then two, to hear my biological dad, you know, like they said, we thought he was going to die. He was on a ventilator and all this stuff. And I was like, wow, not that I'm super close with him. Right. But it's still weird. It's still. But I, I feel a certain amount of affection uh, towards my half siblings, even though I really don't know them. There's right. just something you feel. Right. There's a connection. And I felt really bad for them because you could tell they were really like. Upset. Yeah. Right. Uh, n- n- yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't, yeah, <laughs> right, yes, upset. Um, <laughs> so, but it, anyway, it was, a, it was a great afternoon. I sunburnt the top of one of, one of my knees, because I didn't, we sat there oh, outside. Oh, you sat outside? Yeah, oh. and I sunburnt right, right here. Can you see that? Oh, oh yeah, you need sunscreen. <laughs> um, In your car. <laughs> but, uh, but we decided we're, as, sorry about the doggy chewing yeah now i can actually say it and people will hear it right (laughs) Um, but it was it was a nice visit it was a really i really enjoyed it um i took they asked about you i I told lily about you before right um i just listened to the podcast before right but they they asked about you again and i you know like where did she work in this and that and austin's a huge movie Mm -hmm. guy and i was like well i'm sure we could get you to see a movie and they were like oh my god and um, so Lily is a huge Animal Crossing fan. <gasps> oh, yeah. really? She also has the, what's the, is it the 60, the, what's the GameCube? GameCube, uh-huh. And the N64, you have both NSS, of those? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and she has those. Mm-hmm. Uh, she's also making a movie, because she goes to Humboldt now, Humboldt State University. Okay. that's where Jason's she, kid goes. She's making a, oh, really? Yeah. Oh, they might know each other. Yeah. Uh, she's making a movie a pretend like a kind of a farce about trying to find Bigfoot. Oh, no. She loves ghost adventures. So there's all these things that we have in common. Huge Grand Theft Auto fan. Yeah. I want to be in Fighting Bigfoot. She plays. <laughs> yeah. So I said we'd like to go visit. And I said if we do, we'll bring all our video equipment. Yeah, for And that sure. way we can record them. Uh, That's hilarious. So anyway, so it was a, it was a fun visit. It was, um, it was a little weird. I texted my biological dad. She gave me his number and I texted him to say, you know, how are you doing? And then I got, I got a response, which was kind of like, weird. <laughs> yeah, it was, <laughs> it was that feeling of like, hey. oh, we don't talk for a reason. I, I get that. You don't want me in your life. Right. I got it. Um, but yeah, it was kind of like, oh yeah, they're raving and ranting about uh, your visit with them. Uh, yeah, it'd be nice to catch up. I'm like, oh, <laughs> I don't need to catch up. <laughs> I'm pretty much caught up. Yeah, I'm good. So, but just checking it, in. It, yeah, but I really <laughs> felt for them, and they were like, you know, would you would you be willing to see him? Would you come visit him? I'm like, yeah. And she's like, I'd like to have the four of us just talk and kind of like timeline everything because you know he had this whole life before we were born, and I'm the like, four, as in their mother, the four of us. No, me, oh, you, Lily, oh, I'm Austin, sorry, I'm sorry. and my biological dad. I can't dad. count. That's fine. Sorry. Um, and um, I was like, yeah, you know, if, as long as it's good for him. I said, right. I have no hard feelings. Right. You don't want to push it. You I've know? had a great life, so right. I'm okay. I'm, right, I'm you good. Know? <laughs> I know who my dad is, and it's really not that guy, right. but I'm totally cool with hanging out and telling stories. I said, if he's comfortable with it. So what's funny is... They were going to visit him at this this care facility, and she's like, "Yeah, I'll text you and let you know." Well, I haven't heard from her, right? Which is kind of what happened with the uh, last time, right? With the uh, yeah, so I feel really bad for them because I think they're kind of in a hard place, a rock in a hard place because they right. want me to be part of it. So anyway, I hope that doesn't sound too bummerish because I don't have bad feelings about it. No, I don't it. think so. I think it's uh, I think it 
you know, you're bringing this to a close on you had a good afternoon and you're happy that you went and you're happy that you got to hang out with them and we hope to do that more in the future. Yeah, and, and she said, you know, uh, she's like, I'd like to hang out again. I'm like, you're invited to come here. I said, we're around. I said, are you, when are you back? She's like, around Thanksgiving. I said, well, let's get together, you know, yeah. sometime around Thanksgiving. I, you would l- like them both. He's he's. They're both really cool, really cool. And what's funny is they they look like my siblings. Really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was funny because they kept looking at me and they go, do you look like our dad? Like, yeah, I know. Fortunately, he was decent looking, which is a good thing. He's a good looking guy. But it was hilarious to be sitting there and thinking, I'm old enough to be both of your parents. Technically, yeah. Easily. Right. That means I would have had Austin at 23, 24. That's not that far uh, out of right, the well. That, my mom was younger chance, yeah. than that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so... Yeah, my mom was younger than that when she had me, too, so... So it was, uh, yeah. So it was good. It was a good day. I was I was so happy to see them. It was fun to tell a bunch of stories. And, and I gave Lily the gift that we got her. Oh, from for before, graduation. Right. Mm-hmm. And and she was... She's like, I'm so sorry I didn't see you that day. And I'm like, hey... Because I, I don't want her to feel that. Yeah, it was no, no big deal. Right, yeah. But I, um, I said, the bow got squished. And what's funny is in my head, I thought it was last year. I oh, was it the, wasn't last year? She's been at Humboldt for three years. No. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I thought it was last year. That's what I thought, too. Well, but then flies. I realized it wasn't because we were recording in there, which was right after we started recording, which was three years ago. That is so I honestly could have sworn it was last year. So could like I. If, like, if you gave me a test, I would say But then I year. thought about it last year, because um, remember, we saw I saw her right after vacation, which is funny. I told her, I said, every time I see you, it's right after vacation, right after I shave my head. Right. And she's like, oh, that's funny. That's normally because you're, yeah, I would I'm, say 10 months out of the year, you don't have a shape. Right. Time, so so <laughs> anyway, yeah, it was three years ago. That's funny. Yeah. Wow. And I'm like, yeah, so over the year. And then I realized like, oh, my God, it's been so. Well, well. But she very much liked the gift. And nice. She actually said, she goes, I think my favorite part is the squished bow because you kept it. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> he did. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's funny. Told her about our vlog. She's very excited about that. Oh, nice. And she goes, "You want to know something funny?" And I said, "With that?" She goes, "My my dad. Mm-hmm. I'm, uh, I, I'm not saying my dad. She said my right. dad. Right. Got it. Uh, <laughs> he he does little vlogs. Really? Yeah. That's interesting. I'm like, that's hilarious. She goes, "I'll send you." I'm like, "Yeah, I'd like to see." Yeah. He uh he lives in a motorhome, so he's doing tiny living. I'm th- Isn't that well, hilarious? Yeah, it's funny. Yeah. Well, so anyway, <laughs> I thought it was I thought it was all kind of funny. It was it was good. Uh. And for people that don't know, you haven't heard any of these stories because no, I just got right, back right. from being with them. Yeah. So anyway, keep saying anyway. I think I'm a little <laughs> nervous about it. Right. But for sure. It's That's weird. okay. Yeah. Um, are you good with that? Am I good with talking about it? Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I okay, wouldn't cool. talk about it. No, I know. But, you know. It. Yeah, it was good. I, I really in. like them. I like, I really, <laughs> I really like them. I wish I would have known them right. from the time they were they were younger, but I do hope that we keep in touch. And I said that we'd love to come and visit her up in, in Humboldt sometime. I have never been. Go out to dinner. And yeah. Henna went to Humboldt for a while. Oh, really? Yeah. That's fun. That's in And so did Sarah. My, no, Humboldt's up north. Humboldt's huh. in the ever, it's like Portland. It's the evergreen combat zone. Is it really? Zone. Yeah. It's super, it's super, that's where they grow all the it's weed. Is like Oregon? No, no. It's like Oregon. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's like. I thought it was in California. It's, but uh, closer to the border. It's five hours away. Oh, Okay. Most well, cool. Yeah. yeah. So it's like all. I've never been. Yeah. It's Obviously, because I don't know where it misty. is. <laughs> if you think of uh, Twilight, mm-hmm. that's that's Humboldt. Oh. That's not Humboldt. Right. But that's how it looks. Because that's in Washington. There's tons of huge red Twilight's woods. in Washington. Like the <laughs> the beaches are all foggy and cold mm-hmm. all the time. So right. yeah. So that's I think fun. it would be fun to go. So I, I'd like to go see her sometime yeah. at school, and and I thought we'd go spend a night, take her out to dinner, and mm-hmm. do all that stuff. That's funny. And then I was hoping when she's here for Thanksgiving. <laughs> We could either maybe have them over or mm-hmm. go over there, like do the Saturday right. thing like we the do. Saturday Thanksgiving. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I'd even invite uh, invite their mom. Their mm-hmm. mom's really cool. Nice. Their mom was the one that when I had my operation on my balls, mm-hmm. that I was staying at her house back, that's how long my They've biological been together. dad. Yeah. Well, they're not together anymore because right. he fucked that up too. What? <laughs> but still. Like I said. He lives in a camper. Right. Well, um, shall we move on to speaking of tiny living? Let's speak of tiny living. I have found 
that watching Tiny House Nation with you here at home mm-hmm. apparently isn't enough. What? What? Wow. Wait for it. That's so, brutal. So apparently, I have now found a YouTube channel that mm-hmm. I watch that's, nice. <laughs> that's all about tiny houses, and but only in like ten to fifteen minute segments, and it um. The host is a guy from New Zealand or whatever, and I'm going to look it up right now to tell you. But Like how you say New Zealand or whatever? Like, I'm American, so the other countries don't No, matter. I'm pretty sure. I can't remember, but I think it's New Zealand. That's what I mean. I'm sorry. And um, you're not American. What do your people call you? Don't start. No, no, I'm being serious. You guys have a name. What do you call this country? <laughs> no, seriously, what do you call your land? There's a, It's a name. You don't call it America. Oh, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> you may want to find out. Yeah. Because you guys had a name for it. Your areas before mm. terra you, firma or something. Uh, uh, Patagonia? <laughs> is that what you mean? <laughs> no. I mean. Um, so this YouTube channel is called Living Big in a Tiny House. And um, it's, it's really cool. It's been a YouTube channel for a few years. And like there's one episode where he actually goes back to a guy's house after he's been living in it for two living years. Living big, tiny. So is that like they make living it rain? Living big in a tiny house. And he and he's like gone to Japan. They make it rain like, with the dollar bills. Or do they make it hail with pennies? They're like, we don't even have dollar bills. <laughs> like, just, I'm making it hail. But they've done like houses that it cost like $10,000. And they've done houses that have cost $100,000. So built? like built. Yeah. And um. I didn't know if anyway, I, I was asking so, that because I didn't know if you were saying like they, they, uh, what do you call it? They like go in and um, review houses or if they actually build the house. No, like this one guy, he's like, I built this house for $10,000. Bitches. And that's, and that's a question he asks at the end of every episode. Oh, so how much did this cost? You huh. know? Yeah. Come and on. Then, let's be real. And then he talked to a builder that built this really beautiful home for a woman in Australia. And he's like, okay, so how much this sound, this, all this beautiful wood has to cost a, a lot of money. How much did this house cost? And he's like, well, you know, she really wanted the, it to have a certain look. And he like hem and hawed about it. And he's like, it's a, we're about at a hundred grand right now. <laughs> But it was a full like solar panel system and water catchment system and a removable deck and you know all of that. So anyway, it was just really cool and I want to tell you about it because it's something really cool that you could watch, but just like in ten minute chunks or whatever. And mm-hmm. even though I'm fairly convinced, unless we own, what's the name of the channel? I just I already just told you, oh, living I'm sorry. big in a tiny house. Oh, that's the name of the that's channel. That's the name of the channel. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Okay, sorry. sorry. <laughs> just told you yeah <laughs> but so like even though like i said i'm fairly convinced that i probably couldn't do that unless we had like a half acre with like a shed or whatever because obviously we need you know land for the dogs and we have stuff and we have cars and i don't even though i think we could possibly live in something like that we would need more than just that yeah I would we think we could do it if we had land and stuff because you you have to have that outside space otherwise you go crazy yeah, but um, what's really interesting, and this is one of the reasons I brought it up, is the guy who um had been living in the tiny house for two years, and he was like, everything is actually really great. In fact, if I could go back now, two things I would do: I would make the shower smaller, because in my head I was like, oh, I don't want the bathroom to feel small. I'm gonna have a bigger shower, and he and so he um didn't have a sink in the bathroom, and he's like, now I would make oh, that shower yeah. smaller and put in a sink. Yeah. Because, you know, I now I have to go in the kitchen to, like, brush my teeth and stuff like that. So I would change that around. And he said the other thing I would have, a garage mm. for my car and my projects. Because mm-hmm. he's like, I don't want to, like, have a project in here on the kitchen counter and, like, get it dirty. Right. And so I end up trying to do that in outside with, like, a tarp right. or, like, in nice weather. And he's like, I, I would love to have, like, a garage so I could, like, do projects. That is the one thing with tiny living is that if you have any sort of hobby that requires, and not a lot of space, but just or a table. Well, just, just podcasting. Whatever. Yeah, even you that. You know, you need, right. so, yeah, some uh, enough a property l- where you can have an outbuilding right. or two to do stuff. But I anyway, so I brought that up because that's something we've talked about. Like, you know, we probably still want something else to go along with the actual tiny house living space. And he confirmed that. Like, after being here for two years, like, the one thing I would do, I would love a garage. Right. <laughs> so. Yeah. yeah. And, I mean, you can even have a, sh- a big shed. Yeah. But. Because your car doesn't have to go in. It's literally just another space to do projects in that you don't have to clean up to go to bed or that you don't want to get your kitchen messy. Like, he actually said that. He's like. He's like, I sometimes I, I, you know, have to do projects on the kitchen counter and I'm so afraid to like mess it up. <laughs> so, right. what makes sense? 
Speaking of YouTube, uh, you want to talk about the vlog real yeah, quick? Then we'll do our favorite five. Kind of oh, a, yeah. We're already there. Well, a little bit of a, a shorter show today just because we have so much going on. Is yeah. that all right um, or no? Yeah, oh, no, you have something else? No, the only no, other no, thing no. I was going to talk about was that we're going into your super busy time. Because right. So our uh, videos, or I'm sorry, videos, our podcast is going to be a little bit different in the next coming weeks. Right. The, usually when we when I have this time because I'm gone from home, um, we let's see the... We the first year we did your origin story, mm-hmm. and the second year we did your origin story, my or, and then the third year we did our origin story, something like that. I How believe. we met, I think. Right. Yeah, so like this year we we have something fun uh, plan. So tune in for the mm-hmm. next couple of weeks. It'll be it's something a little different. It's still going to be us talking about right. us, but I I think it'll be fun. A mm-hmm. kind of an insight to another part of our lives, which will be kind of fun. I'm totally talking this up. It's not that exciting. Never mind. <laughs> Um, it's just going to be a little bit different yeah. for the next couple of weeks. And then also uh, this weekend is a race weekend. And what is it called? NHRA. Drag. And that's drags. Drags. And it's almost just as big as NASCAR. NASCAR but um, I saw the campers and everything. And I left work early like I normally do on those big weekends. But um, what do you, when you drive by, you hear those little bursts. Of <laughs> like the, the, it's, well, it's, it, it's almost over before you hear it. The, it's funny. The <laughs> first time I drove by when we lived here and they had the drags and the drags took off, mm-hmm. I thought my car broke. Right, because all of a sudden it's just a, like wah, and I'm yeah, like, it's the weirdest what? sound, right? It, my engine just broke, yeah. <laughs> and then I realized, like, oh no, it's it's not. It's them, it's, yeah. It's freaking. It's, it's weird. Seventeen million horsepower going um, a quarter mile in half a second. I think I told you this. That's before. an actual stat, by the way. <laughs> an actual stat. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I've told you this before, but when I lived in Portland, Oregon, um, a little ways away, about half hour north, they have the. Wood Woodburn, I believe it's called Woodburn Raceway. It's Woodburn. It's a town, and they have a drag strip there, and it's where all the old not Willwood, Woodburn, not Willwood. No, it's Woodburn. called Willwood. No, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> and um, they have an oldies drag every year, and it was again, it was always like around my birthday or something, so I'd go to that. And um, I think I told you this like off podcast, off pod, um, where um, the first time I went. Um, a really good a friend of ours who um, was a, a car guy. Um, he invited us, and and then there was a member I told you about, Chip Star and Chip Star Junior, both race car drivers, and have a um, restore race cars and things like that, and does some stuff for Jay Leno actually. Um, anyway, but um, so I met met up with them and like sat in the stands with them, and he looked at me and he's like, "Oh yeah, it's about to get started." Probably. And he and he stopped and he looked and he's like, "Hey, wait a second, do you have earplugs?" And I was like, what? And he was like, and he looked at me, he goes, it, like too late. And he picked up his hands and he cupped my ear, my ears with his hands. And he looked at me and he's like, look at me. And he's like, and he, like he put his hands on my ears and I was like, what's happening? And then there's like, and then the drags took off and I was like, oh, and I was like, oh, okay. And he's like, and then he took his hands away. And he's like, go get earplugs right now. Yeah. I told you, <laughs> I told you but, about the experience Ed had, our, our friend Ed. Uh-uh. The first time he went to the drags here. Uh, everyone was telling him, take earplugs, you buy headphones. And he's like, no, I'll just cover my ears. So he had his hands on his lap and he's watching the drags and the light turned green. Uh-huh. And he said, by the time he got his hands from his laps up to his ears, they were done. They were over, and he said, yeah. I couldn't hear yeah. anything for the rest of the day. Right. It but was, like, that's hilarious. Cause like that's, but the car guy knew. Yeah. And he just like, he looked at me and he looked at the, the guy, the cars lining up and he was like, where are your plugs? And I was like, oh, like I hadn't gotten them yet or whatever. And he was just like, oh, well, shit. Well, if you don't, if you don't, if you, <laughs> you haven't know? been or you're not in the culture, yeah. you're just going to think, well, everyone sits That's in the fine. stand, so yeah. it's fine. Right. Yeah. And he was just looked at me and he was just like, no, no. <laughs> it is amazing. I, right. I, I'd, I'd almost rather go to the drags than the NASCAR race because drags live right. is in. Yeah, it's a, it was insane. so much fun because yeah. they were all like vintage cards. Nothing. Um, it was all pre seventy. Well, let's go next year. Yeah, but yeah. um, so um, not what, vintage tracks. Really, I want to go right. top fuel. Um, that same guy used to be a um art director and like camera guy for um Leica, who does all of the Night Before Christmas and the PJs and all that stuff. Anyway, that was really cool. All cool. uh, right. Woo. So uh, real quick, we talked last time that uh, we're going to start a vlog. Mm-hmm. And uh, talking to people and doing research and getting it all set, because um, this is going to be a little bit different venture, so kind of has to be all, um, I don't know, freaking stupid proposals <laughs> and crap put together. But anyway, we do have a name now yes. of the vlog. It's called. It's going to be called, or it is called, Halos and Heathens. Yes. Uh, the YouTube channel is up. However, we don't have any videos on there. Right. 
Uh, we should be launching videos starting mid September. Yes. That's the, hopefully we won't have to push it back to October, but it should be mid September. Um, as it gets closer, we will probably ask for some help from our podcast friends to, if nothing else, go onto the YouTube channel and subscribe. You don't have to watch any videos. Right. We're just trying to get some <laughs> some initial subscriptions. Some right. And, uh, and, and we'll go from there. But we're excited about it. We're hoping this is going to be an interesting trial because it could either go uh, really cool for us and be a lot of fun. I mean, it'll be fun either way. Right. Or we could fall flat, no on, what, yeah. flat on our face and uh, it, it doesn't take off as people are, are thinking it might. <laughs> so uh, we're, we're going to be, as we talked about a little bit before, we're going to be doing some review stuff. Uh, we'll definitely be pimping ourselves out on that. It's funny because for years on the podcast, we've been talking about how no don't worry about sponsors, like <laughs> don't worry about rating or reviewing. And now this is like a 180 degree turn. With this, well, it's different. It's, it's a, a different, different thing. Right? Yeah, it's t- so. <laughs> Come for the dog, stay for us. That's right. gonna be our, our motto. <laughs> so it'll it'll be interesting, but we have some fun stuff planned, and I'll actually uh, be involved in editing and right. stuff, which is gonna be weird. So I th- I just think the gear side of things is gonna be a lot of fun. It'll be especially for you. <laughs> yeah, it'll be interesting. So anyway, so we're really excited about that. Um, uh, we do. Uh, we had to like get trademark and all that with the name so that's why we're announcing the name now so hero no halos and heathens even, halos and heathens <laughs> if you go to halos and heathens.com it'll just push you to the youtube, YouTube right. uh page which has no videos right. but we're gonna do instagram and snapchat and all yeah, that. we're actually going to venture into snapchat yeah you're welcome tony from yeah. salty language <laughs> yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be inter- interesting interesting yeah. but uh but thanks we we've already had a bit of initial support and mm-hmm. we really from just from podcast friends right. and listeners. And we, we really, really appreciate yeah, it. It's so cool. And that uh, you guys care at yeah. all. <laughs> so it'll be fun. So I just want to say that if you have anything that you think you'd like to see on the vlog, you have any questions, you can always email it halos and heathens at gmail.com. Woohoo. That's up and running. Yeah. <laughs> and you can find that anywhere at halos and heathens or H A H vlog. However, we haven't done anything yet. So, so we're just kind of talking right. about it because it's part of our lives and we will, this is the one thing we'll probably pimp on the podcast. It's the only thing we'll bother you about. Right. Um, but just a little bit. At just the a end. little bit. <laughs> or whenever. Right. And then we'll, and because it, and mostly because it's part of what's going on. It would be, we were right. discussing about not talking about it. Right. But, but then, then we realized that's not what we do. Lives, yeah. So. Yeah. so. Kind of and like our dogs and everything else. It's like that's like such a huge part of our lives. So yeah, we're gonna talk about it. Succeed or fail, we're gonna chat You're about right. it and, and have. There might be fun some crying. It. There might be some laughing. So again, if anyone has <laughs> uh, any suggestions, requests, whatever. No, I was no. gonna say a hookup for with the oh, Canon hookups. 70D. That's what I said. That that's would be awesome. What I meant, I meant hookup. Um, <laughs> yeah. So anyway, kind of funny. Anyway, let's get to our favorite five. I'm saying right. anyway a lot today. I anyway, know. that's okay because you're anyway. hungry. You're probably hungry. Anyway, did you have caffeine today? I did. Mm, how you doing? <laughs> it was much, much earlier. Okay. But I'm fine. Thank you. Okay. Um, so today we have Interesting Favorite Five. And um, a long, long time ago, we did a Favorite Five smells, just random things you like to smell. <laughs> Sounds gross. Oh, it was way more interesting than that. Um, so today, today we're doing a Favorite Five candle scents. <laughs> yes. Very interesting. Why? Because we can. And we, we like it. To. And we like candles. What's really interesting is we both really like candles. I and if there's so a we ball did have sack candles. There's smell. like no. There's a we know when we like buy new candles and stuff, we both have to smell them, we both have to agree, and both have to want to bring it into the house. So there you go. I don't that's not exactly true. Well You've bought candles and I bought candles without But I think we don't have to Well, but we when we go to like Target and stuff, we actually like hey, together, smell this. yeah, but it yeah. but it's not but it's we not have this brought mandatory. them home separately. But yeah. I think it's a very like I only do that if I felt like I'm fairly positive of the scent or whatever. I'm like, oh, he's gonna hate this. I'm getting this one. I don't do that. Well, <laughs> who, who the hell does that? God, no one. Hopefully, Jesus, crime woman. <laughs> you go first. You're very extreme. Oh, I go first. Yeah. My fifth favorite candle, candle sp- stench, uh, stench hmm. is vanilla. Really? I do like vanilla candles. Nice. Vanilla, vanilla bean, mm-hmm. all vanilla of the versions, extract, vanilla, French vanilla. Sure. Why not? I like the French. Why wouldn't you? <laughs> all right. What's your number five? Um, my number five, and I put it in quotes, is the fresh scent. Mm. 
And sometimes it doesn't always smell the same between different uh, candle brands. But typically, whatever their line of fresh scent is, I like that. Sometimes it's fresh laundry. Sometimes it's fresh air. But they're actually really similar. <laughs> fresh panty liner. Possibly. Mm -hmm. The fresh scent, if you right. will. And I don't know. And I put Fresh, moist, towelette. Sometimes it's also called beach fresh or something like mm. that. But not always. No. Don't know about that. Fresh air. Anyway. Uh, oh, ahead. you mean the Tory Gross? Also uh, that. NPR? <laughs> Why not? Tory. My number four, hmm. Terry. Terry Gross, yeah. <laughs> Tory Gross was a girl I knew in high school. That's funny. That's hilarious. Shout out. How's it going? Tory Groth. Oh, my God. I don't know who anybody's Just name is it. anymore. <laughs> <laughs> number four. <laughs> Nick Groth. Oh, my God. I'm so good. Who are you? <laughs> uh, number four is from the Candle Factory in Santa Fe. It was called Black Rose. And it smelled like... Not like Black Rose? N well, yeah. It smelled like it roses? It smelled like rose and lavender. That's interesting. It was really good. So like a combination and of And the candle was black. Scents? Oh, that's nice. So it probably just smelled like rose and the candle was black. <laughs> we have a really cool black candle right now, but I can't quite tell what the fragrance is. And we're just trying to use Which it up. Which black candle? The one that's out on the um, thing that's next to the door where it holds the keys. Remember, I stole it from your cousin for Christmas. Oh, but the candle isn't black. The it's candle just the thing that's out. Well, no, the glass is it. black and the the wax is black. Oh, so it is. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but I don't know what the fragrance is really. But that's beside the point. It's a nice, cute little black candle that I'm trying to use up so I can stick my makeup brushes in it. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. But black rose sounds nice. Is that, is that company still around? Nope. No. Okay. No. Well, there you go. Um, my number four is floral scents, specifically jasmine. 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 So like if I'm going for a floral candle, I always make sure I smell the ones that have jasmine in it. Very nice. So because that's I typically like those. So and I really like the way jasmine smells in general. So it's always a winner. Jasmine. Sounds good. My number three is wisteria. Which is not, not to be confused with hysteria, <laughs> which is a Def Leopard album. I lived in a I'm house a um, in Petaluma. Tonight. Um Right after... Um, Can't stop this feeling. I lived in a little Can't bungalow in Petaluma, life. and the, no. um, they had a really cool like backyard garden wisteria. shed picnic area, wisteria. and it was all covered with this huge wisteria. It was really cool. It smelled lovely. Attracted My parents have bees, wisteria. Though. Attracted the bees. On their human barbecue. <laughs> oh, gross. Mm -hmm. So um, I, I'm trying to remember if I remember what that smells like. I don't really, but... There you go. Um, I don't think I know of a candle that has the wisteria fragrance. Do you know? Do you remember what brand you used to buy? Stop that. No. What? Okay. Um, is it my turn? Yep. My number three is um, <laughs> I like sweet candles sometimes, and usually they're called like sugar cookies or baking cookies or something like that like there's no candle called baking cookies. no but it's called like something like baking or something i'm trying to remember i've seen it baking cookies but like you this know is what I mean? mixing cookies this is scooping right. cookies cookie this batter yeah. you know like cookie dough or sugar candle or whatever but like um and i can't remember exactly what they're called but like right. there's usually sugar in the title or baking in the title and um it's kind of a brown sugary scent which i really like i think there's I think usually it's supposed to cookie smell like title. cookies or something yeah. but but I've seen it called sugar something before. So sugar, twat. sugar batter, sugar cookie, maybe a sugar cookie. There you go. Yeah, that, that <laughs> doesn't make sense. My number two is the smell your nuts candle. That is hilarious because I thought we we're going to do like favorite candles and that was going to be like on that list. Smell oh, well, that's I, the scent. Because I don't, I don't know how to candle. describe that scent. So I started doing this. I don't know what this is. We're here right. these little finger movements. That's you owe me money. <laughs> also smell my nuts. Right. Well, but, that's uh, not. The right. Right. That's no. not the right. So is this, I don't that's know, not the twirling right. balls? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know but either. But what would you call that fragrance? How would you describe it? E easily. Different it's, kinds of nuts? It's hazel. Yeah, it's hazelnut. <laughs> it's zero Sorry about nut. Zero, zero's nuts. Right. Look, he freaking. He spiked yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, People wow. right now that are Sorry listening to headphones that, you are guys. like, you guys <laughs> suck balls. <laughs> It's sensitive. All right. What's go ahead? You're not gonna describe the nuts, just hazelnut? Okay. Uh hazelnut. Uh there is well, actually that one I believe is it's a combination of nuts. It's a bunch of nuts. Mm -hmm. Well, right. I know one is hazels. Right. <laughs> hazel's, hazel's nuts. nuts. Okay. 
That's going to be what this is called. Um, my number two is vanilla. Uh, right. I like vanilla too, but it's just higher up on the list because I actually like vanilla almost anything and I will take almost anything. What does anything. that say? Uh, Pirate right. radio boat. Oh, no. What does the one below it say? Um, All right. Raining basement, TV tag, hmm. and then it says oh, no, Hazel's I, Nuts. Yeah. I thought we had something funnier. Uh, wow. All right. So where okay. are you at? What, what's, are you at your I just told two? you my number two is vanilla. Oh, that is your number two. Yeah, I just... <laughs> I wasn't listening. Because you're not listening to me. No. Okay. <laughs> uh, that's nice. a good one. I think I, just a general, like, if I just had to go to the grocery store or Target or whatever and just buy, like, an emergency... What's funny is vanilla an emergency candles, candle? Vanilla. Vanilla candles don't smell like vanilla. And you know what's funny is I <laughs> had... I, like la- I originally had lavender on here somewhere, but I think I bumped it. I don't. I didn't mean to. I meant to put... Shit. I meant to have lavender on there. Oh, oh. well. It's not uh-huh. on there. My number one is that Jamaica candle. What's it called? Love? It's Bliss? It's called Island Mint. Island Mint. That's, That's my, my favorite. favorite. That's Jamaica. my favorite candle. Oh, is that yours set. on it? No, because I was going to have that on my other list. But it's the did. smell that you like. You, you're saying that you like it in the tin. Yeah. That Well, no, I just like that that candle. You like the right. smell. That's my favorite That's candle of your, all time. It was funny. Is no, my, my number one was God like tropical. So I guess I could go. Yeah. But... All right. It's similar. But that is my favorite candle of all time, candles. But is that your favorite scent? My favorite candle scent, yes. Then that should be number one. It should be. Yeah. So everything moves down. Tropical moves to two. Vanilla moves to three. So which one got bumped? <laughs> Fresh. <laughs> <laughs> probably good. All right. That's Island Mint. Island Mint. Yep. Island Twat. And we have to save those because we only have two. Island twat, that's no. kind of like a sandy clam. <laughs> I don't wow. know. Sure. That you, should be the name. You've lost everybody. Sandy clam. Nope. I'm not writing, writing that, I'm not writing that down. <laughs> I'm writing that down. Sandy clam. I'm not clam. writing that down. Sandy clams. Anyway. I, that, that was a drink that Roger and I invented. Is it really? For yeah. reals. What's yes. in it? Yes. It's a shot of vodka mm-hmm. uh, with a little bit of clam juice. And a clam inside You've of it, lost me. and then the it's rimmed with sand. That's gross. You, yeah, I know. You're, you're you're just joking no. around now. No, we were making fun of it. It okay. wasn't it wasn't a real drink we made. All right, thank you everybody for listening. Uh, we don't have an app. Darkingsandpurifiers.com. <laughs> so yeah, check it out. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, and all that. And if you so desire, uh, when we're ready to go, check out Halos and Heathens. For sure. Because that's how we roll. More of us. <laughs> and want to thank everybody. I thought there was something else we wanted to say. Yes, sir. Oh, did you talk to your sister-in-law about our logo? Um, yes, I need to send her uh, something else. But yes. All right, cool. So thank you, everybody. We very much appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Uh, drop us an email. Give us a call. And we'll be releasing our old voicemail episode, bonus episode, just for fun here shortly. And uh, that's all I got. All right, good night.